Today I want to talk about Berean Builders Discovering Design with Earth Science. This is the middle school slash high school earth science curriculum. They recommend this for grades eight or nine. This course includes the textbook and then also the answer can tests and then I have printed out the student notebook. The student notebook you can either print it out from a free PDF on the Berean Builders website or you can purchase the student notebook as well. You can do either one. For the course itself, this is considered to be a lab course. So there are 56 laboratory exercises in the book. So you are going to plan on approximately 45 hours worth of lab work. Now the book is an all-inclusive textbook and I really recommend that you read the introduction and how to use the book because this helps quite a bit in knowing how this is then set up. Additionally, there are specific experimental supplies that you will need with this, and I will cover that lab kit in this video. You can purchase the lab kit from a variety of sources, but please note that it is impossible to do many of the experiments in this course without the kit, so you definitely need the lab kit for this. Also, I wanted to mention that Dr. Weil has an amazing website for this course, so you will be able to add ask questions. You'll be able to look at previous questions that have been asked. And additionally, they do have helpful resources such as YouTube videos, etc. If you go to the Berean Builders website that they provide with this book. What you're going to be covering in this Discovering Design with Earth Science is basic concepts required to study earth science. It's a little crusty. Then minerals, rocks, the lithosphere, more about motion in the lithosphere. Fossils in rocks, interpreting the geological record. Uniformitarianism versus catastrophism. Water and the hydrosphere. More on the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, weather part one, weather part two. The Earth solar system, and then the last chapter is the Earth solar system and the universe. So notice there are 16 chapters. Each chapter is set up the same basic way. You'll have your reading. If there are vocabulary terms, they will be in bold. And so you'll need to know these bold terms for your um, tests and quizzes. Then when you read and get to what is a blue box, this is your experiment and it, you'll have listed what your supplies are, your instructions for your experiment and notice that is in the middle of the reading and then you'll finish the day's reading um, talking about the experiment and additional information on the subject. When you get to this comprehension check questions, this yellow box, these are the questions that you need to know based on the reading that you just did that day. And once you have completed the comprehension check questions, you are finished with science for the day. And then the next day you'll come back and you can see there's more reading, another experiment, more reading, and then you'll get to this comprehension check questions. So that would be day two for science. And you go on, this, this day is just reading. And you can see that there are comprehension check questions at the end of this. I do want to point out this red area. Anything that is in red, this is information that you are expected to memorize. So for the most part, it this course is more about understanding the material and being able to explain the information. But then there are certain things that must be memorized. Anything that must be memorized are in these red boxes. Then you can see the next day you have another red box. This is the formula for volume and then you have examples when you're doing math you can see that there's more information here on how to do this conversion so um, a calculator is recommended for some of these conversions so you may need a calculator for this course as well 
Then again, here's your comprehension check questions. So you're finished with science at the end of these comprehension check questions. And then you can go on for the rest of this chapter. It is all set up the same way. Once you get to the end of the chapter, you have the answers to these comprehension check questions. So you can see here is comprehension check question 1.6. If you go within the book, you can see that your answer right here is 1.16. Now something to note about the student manual. This is your student notebook. These are the same comprehension check questions. So this has already been written out. So if you want these questions to already be written out, then you can print out this um, notebook. If you want your student to actually write out the questions and then write out the answers, you don't really need this notebook. They are able to then write out these questions because they're the same. So let's look, we are looking at question 1.16. So you can see here is question 1.16, which is warmer, 215 degrees or 99 degrees Celsius. And you can see 1.16 within our comprehension questions, the same question, which is warmer, 250 degrees or 99 degrees Celsius. And then, um, as we mentioned, here is your comprehension check answer. After the comprehension check answers, you have your chapter review. So this chapter review, you have the same questions for the chapter review in the notebook. So again, if you want to write out all of this, then you don't need this notebook. But these questions are written out. They are the same. You'll have terms to define, which you can see you have those here. And then um, you go into questions. And these are, again, the same questions on this review. Now the answers to the review are actually in this answer key and test. You can see that they do have the answers to chapter one review there. Then you have your actual test is in here as well. So here's your test for chapter one. Each test is one to two pages and you can see that here's define the following terms Then you have true or false. You have a, your general questions and then you can see some, you even have multiple choice. There may be times where you will have fill in the blank. Then within this is your answers to the test for chapter one. So you will need to probably make copies of this test for your students out of this book. Okay, let's talk about the labs for a minute. As you can see, there are labs, you know, throughout. Again, this is a, a lab heavy course and lab reports are very vital within this course. If you do choose to purchase this notebook, at the end of the notebook, there are quite a few blank pages for labs, for your lab reports. If you choose to print it out, you can print out the blank pages for lab reports I just chose not to because I wanted my daughter to put keep all of her lab reports together in this science notebook. So this is from um, School Nest Printing, which I just purchased this on Amazon. And I like her to keep all of her labs together in this. So Dr. Wild does expect the experiments to be a part of the student's grade for this course. In fact, in this answers and tests, he goes through how he anticipates grading taking place, um, clear down to where he talks about, you know, how should you be grading the labs and then how should the final grade, what percentage of the final grade should be the labs versus the quizzes. And uh, again, there's just so much information that he provides on his website that I highly recommend that you utilize that. Let's look at how long a chapter really takes to do. The way we set our schedule up is based on how Dr. Wall recommends it. So he recommends one day for everything that goes to this comprehension check question. So for example, for chapter three on day one, we would do reading, an experiment, and then the comprehension check question. Day two, we would have another experiment with a reading and then comprehension check. Day three, we would have readings and another other experiment comprehension check questions. Day four, again, readings, experiment, comprehension check question. Day five, 
looks like we have quite a bit of reading for day five and then the comprehension check question. Day six, um, reading and then comprehension checks. Day seven is more reading and then comprehension check. And so that is seven school days that we would have used to cover the material for this. Then for school days eight and nine, we would be concentrating on this chapter review. So we normally take at least two days for the chapter review and then day 10 would be the test. So we allot a minimum of 10 school days per chapter. And again, you have 16 chapters in this book. So if you have 10 days per chapter for 16 chapters, then that's going to be 160 days. So you do have additional days. If there is a concept that is difficult to understand, you do have that leeway to be able to spend some more, more time on a specific concept. Now let's take a look at the actual lab kit. Now again, I purchased this lab kit when I was at the Teach Them Diligently conference, but you can purchase it directly from their website. So there are multiple places that you can get it, but just make sure that you do get the lab kit for the Berean Builders Discovering Design with Earth Science. Within the lab kit, you'll receive information on what is included in the lab kit. Then there is a card of Old Earth Ages versus the Biblical Timeline. So note that this is science from a biblical perspective. And you will also have information about a geology testing kit. Then this is additional information. So it looks like there's some green tea and Tums in there. You also have clay, sand, etc. There is a digital scale. Then you have your beaker, density rocks and limestone, Epsom salt, and then you have this kit. Oops. You also have mass activity rock. And then you have this kit. So this kit is very informative when you are doing your labs. You need this kit for the labs. So you can see that there is your basics kit that talks about your minimal, mineral, your rock specimen, and then also your fossil, and these are numbered. So whenever you go into the kit, you can look and see that granite is number seven, and so if we pick number seven, this is a piece of granite. So this is extremely important again for the labs that you are doing within this course. So without the kit, you really don't get the lab credit, which means that you are not fulfilling the course 